Hello everyone. I wanted to give you a quick demo of the wiring for these push button with the LED light ring uh, switches, these on off switches. They seem to have not great instructions according to most of the reviews on Amazon and it's a very popular switch. So let me turn on my power. First, just show you, uh, no light, right? Push it on. It powers on and this particular model is a red ring so the red ring shows when the light is on press it off the light is off so where is a case where you might use that might be your water pump right if this is your water pump button I might order a blue LED ring and I know that my water pump is off because I have no ring and if I turn the water pump on and that ring is blue, it reminds me I've turned on my water pump. So how is this one wired in this way? Well, this is the program one. And as you can see from their diagram, I'm gonna have to flip this over backwards here to spin it towards you. In the diagram, they have one negative for the battery, the source, one negative for the switch, and one negative for the light. So that's three. So I have a three part lever knot here, the source, the switch, and the light, or your pump. Next, they have the power source and the white from the switch. So you only need a two piece lever nut. The next one is two from the switch, the blue and the red, and the red to the light or your water pump or whatever. So the blue, the red, and the lighter pump. All right, so hopefully that helps you see how this is wired up. And again, Pressing this on, shows the ring, shows it on, press it off. Now there's another way to wire this. Let me turn off my source here. What if you want the LED light to be on all the time so you can see the button at night? That's their program two. Okay. The negative doesn't change. It stays with the source, the negative to the switch, the negative to the light or the pump. And here's where it's different. You have the source, and you also have the red and the white from the switch. Then you have the blue from the switch and the positive from your light. Now if we did this correctly, when I turn on the battery source, the LED will come on. There it is, but no light. And I can press the button. The ring, LED ring is still on, the light is on. There you go. Uh, I don't see any particular purpose in uh, program three and four. It effectively just kind of reverses the switch or the intention of the button, whether a power is on or not. So a personal preference, I suppose. So it is flexible, but there you go. That's a couple of different ways in which you can wire this particular button switch in your van. Catch you on the next one.